वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द क्लास टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट पार्ट सेकेंड ऑफ डेसीमल्स सो हेयर यू विल स्टडी अबाउट अ कन्वर्जन कन्वर्जन विल टेल यू सो वी विल सी how to convert decimal number into a fraction okay so we have some steps here please look to the steps carefully and then see the solved examples so what are the steps here step 1 says write the decimal without the decimal point as the numerator of the fraction okay so when a fraction is given write the decimal without the decimal point means the decimal number you will write without the point then write one followed by as many zeros as the number of decimal places in the decimal as the denominator of the fraction finally reduce the fraction to the lowest term okay so in case you are confused with the steps i will explain you with a solved example let us take one example i want to convert 0.5 to a fraction fine so 0.5 is what this is a decimal isn't it because it has a point in it so what i will do i will write 5 first fine because 0.5 is there i will write 5 then in the denominator i will write 1 Okay, this much is fine write the number as it is and in the denominator write 1 now you have to see how many digits are there after decimal after point so this is the point and how many digits are there after point just one digit so i will put 10 clear so this is so you will say that 0.5 is equal to 5 by 10 why 0.5 is 5 by 10 because just one digit after decimal point and 5 by 10 will be reduced to 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 so it will be a 1 by 2 clear same way they have done some examples please see one example 0.9 see it yourself because same method i have explained look for example 0.05 so what they have done as i told you they will write 5 as it is yes then write 1 in the denominator yes then how many digits after decimal 1 and 2 so how many zeros you will write 1 and 2 so that is a 5 by 100 which will be reduced to 5 ones are 5 and 5 twenties are 100 how to reduce you can do it by hcf also reduce by we have already studied otherwise you can see both the numbers they can be cancelled with 2 5 3 4 ever okay so don't get you will get only small small numbers so no need to worry now we will see converting a fraction into a decimal number this is just opposite a fraction is given and you have to change it into a decimal number look here 29 by 10 so 29 by 10 is a fraction because it has a numerator and a denominator and you have to convert into a decimal decimal means it should have a point so what i will do i will write the number as it is 29 by 10 then in the denominator how many zeros are there one zero so from the back i will count one digit and i will put the decimal so i will write 29 from the back i will count one digit because one zero is there then i will put the decimal clear if it was 29 by 100 then what i will do then i will write 29 first then how many digits how many zeros are here one and two so from the back one and two and i will put the decimal here and since nothing is before decimal you can put a zero fine so they have given a different method of uh, writing them if you understand this you can write this otherwise this this method is much more easier just count how many zeros are there then see the digit and from the back count 
write those many digits and put the decimal. Okay. Now tell me, what if I write 569 by 100? What we will do? So how many zeros are here? Two zeros and here three digits are there. I will write the digit as it is 569. Then two zeros. So from the back, one digit and two digit and then put the decimal. The answer is 5.69. Clear? I hope it is clear to you because this method is much more easier. So they have given you the steps. Now we will see how to convert a fraction. Fraction is in, now here the fraction is in a mixed form. Okay, mixed fraction to decimal. So what we will do? First, you will convert the mixed fraction to a improper fraction. So they have given a 5 whole 1 by 8. 5 whole 1 by 8 will be 5 into 8 plus 1 by 8. That is equal to 41 by 8. Clear? That's what they are getting here, 41 by 8. Then what? Then we will simply do the division. So, we will write 8 as divisor and 41 as dividend. How many times it will go? 8 fives are 40. And then what is left is a 1. Now, 1 will not go with 8. What I will do? I will put a point or a decimal. As soon as you put the decimal in the quotient, you get the power to put a 0. So, I will put a 0. Now, 8 ones are 8 is left is a 2 we already have a decimal again we can put a 0 8 twos are 16 what is left is a 4 so again I will put a 0 and 8 fives are 40 so the answer is 5.125 okay see first you will change the mixed fraction to the improper form as soon as you have done this is a kind of division so Start dividing. Wherever you feel it is not getting divided, put the decimal in the quotient. And after putting the decimal in the quotient, you have the power to add a zero. These are the steps, same steps they have explained. You can read them yourself also. So now talking about today's work, this is exercise two. And all the questions which I have circled here, already done as classwork in the upcoming slide and others will be your homework so let us see the next slide i hope you know now what is your homework because in previous class i have seen from exercise one many of you have not done question number eight so please do question eight of exercise one and send it we have done all the circle questions I have done in the upcoming slides. All the ticked ones are your homeworks. D, B and E. A, B and E. Please see here. Convert the following decimals into fraction in lowest term. So 0 0.35 was given. What I told? Write 35 and in the denominator write 1. Now how many digits after decimal? 1 and 2. So, I will put two zeros. So, the number is 35 by 100 which will be reduced to 7 by 20. Clear? Now, here 0 0.836. So, write 836 in the denominator. Write 1. Now, how many digits after decimal? Decimal is here. Now, 1 digit, 2 digit, 3 digit. So, how many zeros I will add? 1, 2, 3. That's what I have written here. And then you can reduce it and get the answer. This is the reduced answer. F part again same way 0 0.444 so it will be 444 by 1000 because 3 digits after decimal reduce it you will get the answer. Question number 2 is convert the following fractions into decimals. So a fraction is given 9 by 125. See if it was a small here the number in the denominator is a big number. So, our work will be either to change it to 10, 100, 1000, 10, 10,000 and so on. So, then it becomes very easy to solve. So, what I will do? I will multiply 9 by 125 with 8 because 125 into 8 will give you a 1000 
and if you are multiplying in denominator with 8 you have to multiply in numerator also with 8 so the new number will be 72 by 1000 now how to write 72 by 1000 in decimals count how many zeros are there 1 2 3 so write 72 then how many digits we have just 1 and 2 3 is not there so for 3 i will put a 0 and then put the decimal is it clear and before decimal since nothing is there you can write a zero so if this was a decimal if just see with one more example if i am writing 5 by 100 then in decimal it will be since two zeros are here i will write five only one digit so i will put one zero and then i will put the decimal and before decimal put a zero 0 0.05 5 by 100 will be 0 0.05 and if it was 0 0.05 what I will do to write it into fraction write 5 in the denominator write 1 now how many digits after decimal 1 2 so how many zeros 1 2 are you getting ok now subpart so C 4 whole 3 by 4 so 4 whole 3 by 4 is a mixed fraction changing to improper you will get a 19 by 4 so let us do the division now 4 and 19 how many times 4 fours are 19 sorry 4 fours are not 19 4 fours are 16 so i will subtract what is left is a 3 now 4 and 3 will not go with a 4 i will put a decimal as soon as i put a decimal i have the power to add a 0 now 4 sevens are 28 what is left is a 2 again it will not go but we have placed decimal once you cannot place decimal every time that one decimal will only help you in adding zeros as many times as you want so decimal is here i'll add a zero so then five times it is a 25 and it is finished so what is the answer 19 by 4 is equal to 4.75 I hope this much is clear to you. After going through the video, read your book once. Then in your notebooks, do the classwork first and then the homework. That was all for today, my dear students. Thank you. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Stay healthy.